The Pythagorean theorem says that if we have a right triangle, the sum, the, the sum of the square, or I guess the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. It's kind of a mouthful. Um, this is why we don't try to write out formulas in English. They're, English is just not very elegant. Um, instead, we, what we tend to do is we tend to write it out something like this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Where c is the length of the hypotenuse, that would make a and b the lengths of the two legs of the right triangle. So here's a right triangle. Um, c is the length of the hypotenuse. Remember the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite your 90 degree angle, which means a and b would have to be these two. And it doesn't really matter which one is which. We're squaring things and then adding them together. So it doesn't matter how I label that exactly. But if this is a right triangle, that means this number squared plus this number squared is equal to this number squared. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between A and B for this rectangular plot of land. We have a plot of land that's a rectangle. It's 36 feet this way and 20 feet this way. We're trying to figure out what is this distance. Well, if this is a rectangular plot, that means each of these angles is a 90 degree angle. And, well, I don't really care about most of them. I'm just going to look at this one. Say that that's a 90 degree angle. And it looks like if you completely ignore this stuff, then we end up with a right triangle. We have a side length here. Let's call this um, x, y, and z. I don't want to use a, v, a and b here because those are used for vertices here. So in any case, I'm going to go x, y, and z. So the Pythagorean theorem says that um, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Again, the, the when we're doing the Pythagorean theorem, the only part that's important is that whatever number is squared alone, you know, not being added to anything else, is the length of the hypotenuse. And that's what I did here. z squared is the one that's alone. Um, I guess I don't need to call it x and y, though, because I know they're 36 and 20. So 36 squared plus 20 squared equals z squared. Let me figure out what numbers these are. 36 times 36 plus 20 times 20 is 400, so I'll just do that. Um, we got 1696. So what number, when squared, gives us 1696? Well, if you recall, we actually have this nice little thing called the square root. The square root tells us what number squared gives us something. So the square root of 1696, or 41.18 uh, approximately, um, z, it's approximately equal to 41.18. So the, that distance there would be approximately 41 feet, a little over 41, almost 41 and a quarter feet. Um, a quick note here, this only works for right triangles. So if you have a um, anything other than a right triangle, whether it be equilateral or an isosceles that's not a right triangle or you know any other right triangle, um, it will not work. This there are some there is a generalized formula that will work for any uh, will work for any triangle, uh, but that requires using a cosine and stuff like that. We're not going to see that in this class. All right. So talking about the Pythagorean theorem, um, there are certain we call these Pythagorean triples, um, certain lengths here where they come out as nice numbers. You can see in this example, if we had 20 feet on that side and 36 feet on that side. This did not come out as a very nice number, 41.18, whatever. Uh, but if we had a, four, a 3 and a 4 on two sides of the triangle, then the other side ends up being exactly 5. 3 squared plus 4 squared, not 14 squared, equals 5 squared. This comes out exact. 9 plus 16 equals 25. That is exact. So that means if we had exactly 3 feet on this side of the triangle and 4 feet on that side of the triangle and had a 90 degree there, that means the distance between them would be exactly 5 feet. And we could double that to get 6, 8, and 10, or take it and triple it to get 9, 12, and 15. Um, those are kind of the same dimensions, if you will. Um, this one right here is a little bit different. Uh, 5, 12, 13 triangle, and 8, 15, 17. These are just a couple of other triangles where they come out as exact measurements. Where these would be nice, um, if you've ever tried to construct a large right triangle. Maybe you're laying out the uh, the plans for a building. Um, it's really nice when you lay out the walls for a building to try to get these angles, this wall and this wall at a 90 degree angle. And if you, you know, you have a four foot level or not a four foot level, you have a carpenter's square. 
uh, let's say you put a little carpenter's square here and you try to get that well that is just not sufficient because maybe these boards have a little bit of a, a curve on them or you know there, there's all sorts of things that make it difficult to tell exactly um, you know this this very frankly a carpenter's square is not that long of a level when you're talking about the scale of the building so instead of trying to use a little tiny square and extrapolate that to the entire length of the wall what you can do is you can use one of these um, you can use one of these triangles you can take for instance uh, maybe you measure let's do this one let's say you'll measure 28 feet this way let's say that ends up over here and you'll measure 45 feet that way let's say it ends up uh, it's unlikely that it'll end up right at the corner um, let's say you measure 45 feet this way so you've measured 28 feet that way and 45 feet this way um, and then you string a tape measure between them and as long as this is 53 feet between them then you can actually be really certain that, that is a very close uh, that's very close to a 90 degree angle um, between them now it's a little hard to remember all these different um, all these different Pythagorean triple triangles most of the time people will just take a 3 4 5 triangle here and scale that up so it'll go 30 feet 40 feet and then this one would have to be 50 feet um, but you know some of these other ones could potentially be handy um, they exist if you want to use them